Do you need to sharpen your email survey skills? Surveys are an extremely valuable tool for any business. Not only do they help you hone your marketing campaigns and tailor your social media presence, but they can also help you gather important information regarding customer satisfaction. There are quite a few choices when it comes to how you want to share your surveys. One of the best ways is via email. I'm Alex, and in today's video, we'll discuss six steps you should take when sending a survey via email. Let's go. It can take some time to perfect the email survey strategy, but when done well, your email survey requests can increase your response rates and help you gather immensely helpful information. Here are some steps you'll want to take when planning out your email survey request strategy. The first step is starting with segmentation. It can seem like a good idea to just send one broad survey via email to your entire database. However, this approach tends to be more alienating than helpful. Your audience will be turned off if they feel like they received an email that doesn't pertain to them. Instead, segment your database into a variety of customized email lists. This way, your various targeted audiences will receive tailored messages they'll actually engage with. Next, you'll want to perfect your messaging. Get started on the right foot with clear and concise messaging. An important area of focus is the subject line. Within your subject line, your goal should be to quickly identify the purpose of the email and give your target audience a reason to open it. For example, if you're offering a discount or entry into a contest in exchange for completing the survey, put that in the subject line. This can be a compelling enough reason for your recipients to click on the survey. After you've perfected your subject line, it's time to tackle the body of your email. Like the subject line, you'll need to write the email body to be brief and to the point. You also want this messaging to be engaging. Make sure it's clear as to why you're asking recipients to complete the survey. Try using A-B testing to evaluate your email subject lines and email body copy. Test these elements and then rework the copy or subject line to boost your email's performance and open rates. Another step in perfecting your email survey process is to make your survey as easily accessible as possible. After all, the easier it is for your recipient to access the survey, the more likely it is that they'll complete it. There are a few different ways to send your survey via email. You can embed the survey in the body of the email or provide a survey link. If you're going to link the survey, try embedding a large eye-catching button or image that will draw the recipients in and make it easy for them to access. Another important step in the email survey process is to keep the survey itself as brief and simple as possible. Just like with the subject line and body of your email, you want your survey to be as simple and clear as you can make it. Take some time to consider which questions you want to include and select question types that are quick and easy to complete. For example, multiple choice questions. If your survey is short and only takes a few minutes to complete, you'll be more likely to receive high completion rates you can wave goodbye to survey abandoning. Providing an incentive is also a great way to encourage survey completion. Here are some incentive ideas to consider. Try offering a discount, access to special gated content, entry into a contest, or some other reward. Make sure to highlight the incentive offer early in your email, either via the subject line or email text, and make sure that you provide clear info about how your respondents will receive the incentive. The final step in creating an effective email survey strategy is to streamline your process. With JotForm, you can assign forms to make the process of sharing surveys easier. You can also improve your tracking. Just share a link to the form or send an email inviting people to fill it out. When it comes to distributing the survey form, you can either email it to a single email or upload a CSV list of contacts and send the survey to a large group of people in one fell swoop. JotForm's Assign feature provides excellent control over the form submission process with capabilities like survey expiration date and time, protection against unwanted access, and submissions with required sign-in access for recipients, draft saving capabilities, email reminders, and more. Once your recipients begin completing your survey, you can track the submission results within JotForm tables. 
With tools like JotForm, you'll be well on your way to streamlining the sometimes complex process of emailing surveys. Successfully asking your target contacts to take a survey via email requires planning, attention to detail, and a good amount of prep work. However, the hard work will be worth it when you're gathering important info about customer satisfaction, product pricing, and more. Let's review. Here are six steps you should take while perfecting your email survey process. Start with segmentation. Perfect your messaging. Make your survey easily accessible. Keep it brief and simple. Provide incentives. And use tools like JotForm to streamline your process. Until next time, I'm Alex with JotForm. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.